Good evening, everyone. Today I'd like to show you the Star Wars Collector Series. And this is one of my favorite figures from that series. And it's of the uh, Star Wars uh, Sand Trooper. And uh, really good box art on it. I'm going to go ahead and go around to the side. Right, get the fully posable figure, authentically styled outfit and accessories, which is true. And then let me go to the back. Once again, collect them all. So C-3PO, TIE Fighter Pilot, Admiral Akbar, Chewbacca, R2-D2, and uh, Yoda. So, and back in the day, you could join the Kenner Fans Club. And this was back in... Say 1997. All right. And once again, I really liked the Stormtrooper. I'm going to go ahead and open up the box here. Make sure the figure and the inside box art. So first, kind of give you a little, show you the, it, it really just talks about, and I'm not going to read it all, you know, the totally little empty. Per Palpatine, Imperial Shock Troops, and Stormtroopers. So, really good. It gives you a good uh, overview of what the uh, figure is, and it's a good special edition 12 inch figure. And then the figure itself, just kind of look at it right now. <clears throat> it's got the dirt to it, right? He's got his big blaster, right? And it's a little orange shoulder pad on the top there. Once again, I've not removed him. I'm going to go ahead and keep him in his box. I'm going to go ahead and then tilt it this way a little bit. So you see his... I'll zoom in there. Um, backpack that he can put on for his power supply there and all the other stuff that is on there. And actually zooming in, you can really get a good feel for that desert sand look on his armor. All right. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'll get up here closer up top. Zoom in up there. All right. There we go. And then move it in a little bit more. Once again, you got that dirt grit sand on him, uh, just like that was in the movie. Um, I think it was a great detail, did a great job on the uh, helmet there. And, you know, back then, Kem Kenner put out some pretty good stuff, some pretty good figures, right? And then I will try and zoom in on the gun here, on his big blaster, right? Once again, really cool, really well detailed, especially for the time, right? They got the dirt and the armor on there, so I think... All in all, <clears throat> it was one of the first figures I got from the uh, Collector Series. It really caught my eye. I thought they did a, a great job on it. Once again, I was tough keeping it in the package. I wanted to pop it out, put it on display, but I've kept it in there. Um, once again, you know, good, good description on the uh, outside here. Really cool, makes you want to open it up. And then, once again, when you turn it around, they had some other great figures in the uh, collection series so you know from a marketing standpoint um it really got me excited back then to do that you could also i'll zoom in right at the time join the official star wars fan club right so <clears throat> once again just send your check or money order and you were good to go and as you know back then it wasn't too bad a one-year membership got you Got you a one-year membership for $12.95, so really great deal. Once again, it, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, as I know many of you out there are. Hopefully, you've uh, enjoyed this video on this figure. Once again, it's one of my favorites that I, always, I will always keep in my collection. And uh, I think, you know, you've got a lot of great uh, figure makers out there now, Dragon and so on. Uh, but I think at this time, Sideshow, you know, for back then, 1997, I think t Kenner did a great job on this figure. And it was, you know, it was always one of my favorites because it was something different than just your standard Stormtrooper. 
So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video and a trip down memory lane for Star Wars fans. And uh, you all have a great evening. Good night.